Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this beautiful lady, as you can see, she's a model. Uh, let's find out uh, how do you find your modeling gigs. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Queen Rolanda. Mm -hmm. um, I've been in and out of modeling since 2008. And um, I pretty much haven't been so into it because I'm a mom as well. I go to school. We'll get to that. And I'm also a full-time worker and I attend college. And how do I find my modeling gigs? Well, um... Model Mayhem, Facebook, or people you know, like wh where it comes from? Well... Like people on the street stop you, like uh, you reach out to designers, you reach out to the photographers that you want to deal with. Uh, where, where do you find your best gigs? The ones My that pay, the, not the first one. The, the nowadays, oh, uh, nowadays, like uh, the the best uh, gigs, the ones that pay the money, the the ones that are interesting and exciting. Where where those come from? The I referrals? find them on Instagram. A lot so. of people will contact me through Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, I had a publicist, a PR, which also helped me get into you know different events and gigs, and um, Facebook as well. Facebook helps a lot. And I also go to um, this website where they have um, designers throughout the whole entire world that I can reach out to. I can reach out to the, their PR. What kind of website? Um, I forget the exact name, but I know it's Modem. One Model Mayhem? Modem. Model Mayhem? Not Model Mayhem. Uh, Model, um, first Modem. Model, Model Management? Model One? I'm not exactly okay. sure the um, okay. exact website. Maybe uh, when people, if people are interested, they will post a comment. You can answer. Yeah. So that that could be. I can answer that. Uh, I also um, <coughs> have the website for um, Fashion Week for all the mm -hmm. designers before the event starts to take place. Right. Um, I can also go on there and reach out to their PRs and um, designers as well, and I will be able to get booked. A gig. Nice. Uh, like you mentioned, uh, your mom, your daughter is 12. How do you manage those things? Uh, having uh, a little bit of modeling uh, gig site uh, on site is. Uh, would you like her to follow your footsteps, or are you ashamed of that, or are you like actually proud of it? Like, uh, how do you you see that? I have a daughter; she's 15 yeah. also. I so would love for my daughter to follow my footsteps for the fact that. I'm a great role model as a model. Um, I show her that it's not just about being a model, it's also about having an education. And also... It's a platform to yes. present your case. Beauty is yes. nothing wrong with being pretty. I like and to uh, show off my beauty. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, smart and beauty uh, come together. Yes, you just smart and beauty is like the perfect if person. If you're a doctor, a lawyer, and uh, at the same time, uh, someone uh, pretty, you, you want to go to a doctor who is pretty or a lawyer or a lawyer who uh, uh, looks nice. Uh, yes. no, nothing wrong with the, uh, uh, admiring uh, looks. And knowing um, the body and stuff. But my daughter, you know, she doesn't like when I show too much of my body. So, so this she doesn't like if I do. So it's, uh, if it's classy and the uh, yeah. evening gown, that's one story. But if it's a swimwear or lingerie, that's a different well, story. Well, swimwear, I can do swimwear as long as it's classy. Mm -hmm. um, like I just did a shoot where it was kind of seductive, but it was very classy. Like I didn't show my ass. I didn't show my boobs, which I don't have any. <laughs> Okay, let's stay <laughs> on topic. Okay. Uh, e e uh, <laughs> we uh, have a question for you. Uh, how do you stay so slim over years? What do, I've what been do you do? slim all my life. But uh, is there I any advice young, for um, the audience? Well, I guess stay stressed. <laughs> you you <laughs> don't diet, you do fitness. I don't uh, do anything. I absolutely You don't just have good anything. genes and the. Uh, I have a fast metabolism. I have a very fast metabolism. I can eat all day and won't gain one pound. Wow. So good genes. Yes, but I've been trying to gain weight for the longest, but it's not happening. So I gave up and I just love my body now. Okay. Uh, let's talk about safety. Uh, uh, you're very pretty. Obviously, when you do fashion, uh, guys uh, uh, follow you and uh, you know some of them are nice, some of them are jerks. 
uh, how do you distinguish how to stay safe how to you know deal with the, uh, with the gentleman who you know might not necessarily fall in love with you but with your looks and uh, uh, some of them are, you know not, don't have that novel uh, intentions yes yeah that's very difficult dealing with that with this industry with the entertainment industry is very difficult you call difficult police you, you get men. restraining orders well no i don't have to call yeah. the police i curse them out so them i will curse them out i will let them know that i'm not the female to be messed with i'm here to do a job and mm -hmm. that's all i came to do i didn't and come that, here. that's sufficient uh, yeah. just uh, to and get after them that i won't see them again it's like they disappear okay so you have enough uh, stamina yeah. to, to take them I off. I can handle you. them. Okay. <laughs> okay. But uh, is there any way to spot uh, a jerk like that prior to, to go? Is there any advice, like, if the guy writes you, like, say, before the shoot, 100 emails, maybe that's not a good well, uh, place to go. Well, they'll start flirting right yeah. away. So and this they'll ask um, to meet up with you and private locations and stuff like but that. Uh, 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 it could be a total, like, I ask you to come and meet me here. You you, you see that I, the I have to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, yeah, but the people, uh, they can put their uh, fake name. Someone else uh, can pretend to be me or, like, I don't know, like, uh, how do you know uh, who, who is who? Like, uh, I go on IMDB. Mm -hmm. I go there to make okay. sure people have credits yep. and that they're known. So people so who are there uh, those credits mean that people buy them. People just uh, just because a person was nice to a hundred people, uh, uh, a person hundred one could be like look at the what happening with the Hollywood with all this uh, sex scandals, like uh, like uh, they can be uh, big uh, positions in Hollywood and uh, all of a sudden the, it could be famous actors and they actually have another story to them, you know, how how to you know see through this? Is there any? Uh, like, uh, do you have like uh, a feeling to this, or is there? Well, way yeah, I do get. I'm very good with my intuition. Mm -hmm. Um, but I would. I do a lot of research. I go on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I go on Instagram, Google. I do as much research as I can just to make sure everything connects the dots and it makes sense to me. If it doesn't make sense to me, guys, do the same. Do the research. Yes. Uh. Research is important. Spe spend your time, you'll find and, and that will save you time and uh, that will uh, take you from the spaces that are you might not want to end up. Yes, because um, that saves a lot of lives if you just do research. So that uh, takes me to my last question to you. How do you know who to trust uh, like, uh, to, to work with? Uh, like, uh, uh, how do you pick uh, your, your, uh, your crew? Well, um... I don't pick everything. I pick what's but suitable you, Let's to say me. you have an idea for a shoot. You, you can pick a photographer. How do you choose this? Okay. I want that photographer, not that photographer. I, uh, how do I, I know that this, uh, let's say I'm doing a production or like uh, something that I'm interested, that th this another model will show up or not uh, uh, have me hanging? Or like if you have an idea, if you, you're doing something uh, f f for, for you. Well, with the photographers, on, um, I go to Instagram for mm -hmm. that. Um, I look at I look through their profiles and their pictures. I see um, the quality of the picture. I definitely focus on the quality of but the picture. But how do you know it's their pictures? They can just steal from another photographer pictures and put it uh, uh, pretend to be theirs. I research them as well. Let's. I will let's Google them. Um, mm -hmm. I also get in contact with another model that have done work with them. Okay, that and get a reference. That's a good one. Yes. And I also go to their page as well to see if that person really take have taken pictures with that um, photographer. Like I was just recently mm -hmm. went through that. Um, I just did a shoot with an LA photographer. I didn't have no clue who he was. I never met him before. Mm -hmm. But I think that another model was taking pictures with him, and um, she had video with him, so I knew he existed. I see. And um, he's very known in LA, so I was very, <laughs> I was very skeptical of meeting with him. But I did. I spoke with him over the phone, and we exchanged numbers. And I did my research as well with him. Uh, with if him. Uh, our followers would like to uh, reach out to you, book you, work with you, is there like a social media they can reach out? 
Okay. Yes, you can go to Instagram at Queen Rolanda and also um, at It's My World 2018. And I also have a website. Y'all can subscribe www.queenrolanda.com. And my name is spelled R O L O N D A. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> You're welcome.